Hi, it's Kerry here. Today I'm looking at my favourite jungle animals. Then I'll be adding some colourful birds and flowers afterwards. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Today there are two questions. The first one is easy. Can you tell me which is the largest animal in today's video? The next one is tricky. How many animals in today's video are related to dogs? If you listen carefully, you will know the answer. The giraffe. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away too. They use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in the treetops and then they can use their long tongue to help pull down leaves that are growing up high. Giraffes live in groups called towers, led by an adult male. You can also help by sharing my videos on social media. The Zebra this is Grevy Zebra and it is the largest of the egrets and has a long head and neck and slender legs. The glossy coat is patterned with black and white vertical stripes that are much narrower than those of the plain zebra and travel down the legs to the hooves. The tall upright mane is also striped in a pattern that continues on from the neck. A wide black stripe along the back is very distinctive and is bordered by white on the rump. My favourite tiger at the moment. I just absolutely love this model. I love how the ears are pinned back in that snarly look. A tiger's habitat would include trees, bushes and clumps of tall grass. Tigers are solo hunters at night time. They quietly stalk their prey until they are close enough to pounce, then they kill their victim with a bite to the neck or back of the head. Look at those teeth. They enjoy the water and are good swimmers. There's a fun ending today at the end of the video. I really appreciate all the wonderful comments and smileys I've been getting. Thank you so much. The elephant is the largest land living mammal in the world. Their thick set bodies rest on stocky legs and they have concave backs. We're getting wet here. <laughs> Their large ears help them with heat loss. The upper lip and nose form a trunk. Elephant mating rituals include the gentle entwining of trunks. Both male and female African elephants have forward curving tusks which continue to grow throughout their lifetime. The African elephant's trunk Lynx. The lynx hunts small mammals, birds and fish. Lynx are prey to a few predators. They are able to climb trees or swim in order to catch their prey. They have extremely acute hearing which allows them to hear approaching prey and predators over long distances. The lynx also has a strong jaw and sharp teeth which it uses to bite down on its prey. They live in dens, in rock crevices or under ledges, which gives them a safe place to rest. The hippopotamus. I love that jaw and all those teeth. Hippos remain in water for several hours during the day to stay cool. At dusk they come out to graze on grass. They like to rest together in the water, but they like to graze by themselves. They have an almost hairless barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. 
Hippos can run fast and can be fiercely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened, and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. A hippo can even kill a crocodile. The Nile crocodile can be found in almost every major river throughout Africa, as well as many lakes. However, most human fatalities only occur when people are washing or collecting food near riverbanks or lake shores, or when fishermen glide their boats in and out of the water. Crocodiles will ambush their prey by lying submerged in the water, with just their nostrils showing. They then suddenly surge forward and grab their prey, dragging it under the water to drown. Nile crocodiles have green eyes. Wolves are the largest members of the dog family. Wolves are known for their spine tingling howl, which they use to communicate. A lone wolf howls to attract attention of his pack, while communal howls may send territorial messages from one pack to another. The grey wolf is the most common. They like to work in packs, running their prey down after a chase. Wolf packs are established according to a strict hierarchy with a dominant male and his mate at the top. Lions are the only species of cat that habitually live in large groups called prides. Across Africa and Asia, lions form prides of varying sizes comprising one or more males and often numerous females and cubs. They form prides to defend their territory against other lions, not to improve their hunting success, much like street gangs. The more members in the pride, the more successful the lions are at controlling their territory. Larger prides with more adult females not only produce more cubs, but the females within these prides are less likely to be wounded or killed by other lions. The spotted hyena is actually more closely related to the domestic cat than any species of dog. Spotted hyenas have good hearing and sharp eyesight at night. They are fast and can run for long distances without tiring. Packs work together effectively to isolate a herd animal and kill it. It is a nocturnal hunter and scavenger and is well known for its unusual laughing sound to alert other clan members of food. The clans can have up to 80 individuals in them. So the spotted hyena is not related to the dog. The African Wild Dog The African Wild Dog is a dog that lives on the open plains and spares woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. These long-legged canines have only four toes per foot. Each animal has its own unique coat colours and pattern with big rounded ears. African wild dogs live and hunt in packs. So this is all the animals we've seen today. Next I'm going to open up some safari tubes and we're going to have a look at colourful birds and colourful flowers. They're great for decorating your jungle scenes. Here's the tube. Lots of beautiful birds and they're a really good size for decorating jungle sets. The parakeet 
is also known as a budgerigar or budgie and is a type of long-tailed parrot. A parakeet is covered with nearly 3,000 feathers. Males and females can be distinguished by the fleshy skin above the beak, also known as sere. Males have blue while females have tan or brownish coloured. Females like to chew things while males like to talk. The Pink Flamingo Flamingos eat algae and tiny shellfish that are rich in carotenoids, which is why these birds are pink or orange. When they want to eat, they put their beak into the water upside down, their mouth fills with water and any plant or animal remains behind once they pump the water out. The Scarlet Ibis is a wading bird. They inhabit salt marshes, swamps, areas near lakes and rivers, tropical mangroves, forests and marshy mountain meadows. Orange red colours of feathers is a result of diet based on algae and small crustaceans, much like the pink flamingo. This flower is for my hummingbird. Hummingbirds are one of the smallest kinds of birds in the world, with most species only 7.5 to 13 centimetres long, which is between 3 and 5 inches. They are called hummingbirds due to the sound created by their rapidly beating wings. The sulphur crested cockatoo is probably Australia's best known parrot. These birds are often kept as pets and they are extremely intelligent and are very good at learning to talk. are famous for their bright colours. Their red, yellow, green and blue feathers seem bold and eye-catching to us but actually blend in well with the green leaves, red and yellow fruits and bluish shadows of the rainforest. And here we have a red one. They have large powerful beaks designed to crush nuts and seeds. Their strong flexible toes are used like hands to grasp nuts or a perch. Loud screeching squawking voices help them make their presence known in dense rainforests. The green parrot or the electus parrot is a parrot native to the Solomon Islands, Sumba, New Guinea and nearby islands, northeastern Australia and the Maluka Islands. The male has bright emerald green feathers and the female has bright red and purple blue feathers. Quite a difference. The ibis has a long neck with a large down curved pointed bill, a roundish body and long legs with partially webbed feet. It uses its long pointed bill to poke around in the mud to forage for food. The Quetzal. These vibrantly coloured birds live in the mountainous tropical forests of Central America where they eat fruit, insects, lizards and other small creatures. During the mating season, the male quetzals grow twin tail feathers that form an amazing train up to three feet or one metre long. Such a beautiful bird. The snowy owl. They are diurnal, which means that unlike most other owls, they are active and hunt during the day and night. The diet of snowy owls consists mainly of lemmings. Their legs and toes are heavily feathered to keep them warm in cold arctic regions. The snowy owl is also known as the arctic owl or great white owl. The toucan. 
Toucans live in tropical and subtropical jungle regions and are easily recognised by their large colourful bills. Their 8 inch or 20 centimetre bill is the longest bill of any bird in the world in relation to their body size. It is very light and is made of keratin in a honeycomb like structure so it is not very strong. It may help to keep the bird cool in the hot climates it lives in. Toucans have long narrow tongues up to 15 centimetres or 6 inches long. They can fly short distances but prefer to hop between branches. So that was all the birds. I really love these birds. They're nice and bright, look really good. So next we're going to have a look at a few flowers. Relax and enjoy the music like I am. Here's the two bright colourful flowers. The orchid. Most species of orchids live in tropical rainforests in the warm and humid climates. Vanilla comes from a type of orchid. Orchids are very old plants. They may have existed around 100 million years ago. The hibiscus is found in the warm and tropical regions all over the world. They prefer well-drained soils in sunny areas. It's best known for its beautiful flowers. Bird of Paradise, another beautiful flower. It looks like a bird taking flight. The lotus is a type of floating aquatic plant. They originate from the southern parts of Asia and Australia. It is a symbol of beauty, grace, purity and serenity. The sunflower. The head is actually made of many tiny flowers called florets. They have a fringe of yellow leaves around the outside. The daffodil is a type of flowering plant that belongs to the amaryllis family. They develop from a bowl, which stores all nutrients required for the stem and flowers to grow. The tulip is one of the most beautiful and most popular flowers in the world. They also develop from bulbs under the ground. The name tulip originates from the Turkish language relating to the hat, the turban. The rose is one of the best known and most favourite plants in the world. Rose oil is used in the manufacture of perfume. watching my video please share my videos with your friends see you again soon